Hey guys, Mike Cull here for NewYorkGolfSport.com. Today we're going to examine different ways to increase your bench. We're going to look at training aids as well as other assistance devices to help you increase your bench. We're going to look at bench press boards, sleeves, as well as uh, other bands and techniques that can help you out. The first device that we're going to look at is the bench press board. It's simply made out of two by fours cut into shortened length to help assist in range of motion sticking points. What I have here is a three board bench press uh, board. Okay, This will help, it goes across under your chest with the help of a spotter. You're going to actually need two spotters, one to hold the board and then one to watch out for your uh, safety. Okay, lifting the board, uh, bar off and helping with uh, guiding and racking it again. This board, a three board, it goes by your chest with the aid of a spotter, okay? And you're going to bring down the bar and it's going to rest about six inches off your chest since it's a two by four, roughly two inches per board, six, six inches. That for some people, the bottom of the range of motion is a sticking point. With the bench press board, you're going to use almost your one rep max. Sometimes you could increase it to 110 to 115% of your one rep max, depending on the number of boards. Obviously, a full range of motion would require no boards, and it would come down to your chest. Three boards, someone like myself that has longer arms, would benefit from the three board because that's going to be a low position, and we're going to bring it down touch the board and then up. Alright. Uh, other boards that I have are also a five board. Same thing but with two uh, additional boards stacked on top. This is going to help out with the top of the range of motion. Some people have trouble locking it out. So that means fully extend, full extension of your arms. Some people um, have difficulty with triceps. This board work could definitely help you out with a tricep work day. And since it's partial range of motion, the top of the range of motion, the top of the lift is mainly a tricep lockout. So a five board will uh, greatly help you out. And you're also going to be working with heavier weights. So you're going to feel the competition weight in your hands along with uh, making sure you have spotted for safety. But you're going to keep the, uh, you're going to feel that heavier weight. You're going to understand what it feels to lock out with a heavier weight. And that's uh, with the use of the three boards for lower and the use of the five boards for the higher. These are great training tools and easy to make. So the second and third training devices that we're going to look at are accessories that will help with stability as well as um, aiding in the overall motion of the lift. What I have here are simple wrist wraps. You can either use tape, athletic tape, or cheaply uh, purchased wrist wraps. Now, these are cheap ones. However, when you get into competition, if you're not going to compete as a raw lifter, a raw lifter is someone that competes without any training aids, any lifting aids. So, like a wrap or a bench press shirt, a squat suit, a deadlift suit, or even in some uh, federations, uh, a belt or a knee wrap are training aids. So this is just great for practice. Simply put it on your wrist, wrap it up, and all it will do is going to help keep your wrist uh, in the correct line of motion for when you are lifting. Okay, simple as a nice easy thumb uh, loop. Put it on so that. You could easily get it on either and quickly, easily, and will help with the heavier lift when sometimes with weaker athletes or athletes that don't have stronger wrists will have trouble with the weight because they haven't yet developed the wrist strength. These are just eight guys. You definitely want to develop your overall strength. You want to develop work on your weaknesses. So if your wrist, these are just like a band-aid. They're just going to help you out for uh, temporary use. You want to definitely work and try and strengthen your weaknesses. 
Another device I have is the bench press uh, sleeve. It's called, uh, this one is the easy one to pick up. Uh, slingshot, Mark Bell created it. Um, find it cheaply online. Well, you do, put it on your hand, put it on your arm, bring it up, and it's similar to a bench press suit where it helps you lock out your overall lift. Okay, so this is going to be used for 95 to over 100% of your uh, one rep max. Once again, always use a spotter. You don't want to lift without a spotter, mainly for safety reasons. Prevents injury as well as, unfortunately, sometimes death because the weight could crush you. You want to always lift smartly. So I have this on my arm. What I'm going to do is this, it keeps my arms so that they're in the lockout position. When I bring it down, it has resistance coming down. The weighted bar is going to help stretch this out and then it's just going to pop up. Hence the reason why they call it a slingshot. This is a mimic of a bench press suit. This is the arm portion of a bench press suit. Bench press suits are going to be a full body suit where your arms are already in that lockout position and the weight coming down will help you to uh, bring it back and then the, the suit will then uh, spring you back up into that lockout position. Alright guys, for our next one, we're going to look at some bands. What I have here is a lightweight squat band looped around the end of the bar and is connected to a kettlebell. The band is going to help keep constant weight on the bar throughout the entire range of motion. Sometimes we have trouble locking out, like I've mentioned in the previous videos. Other times we have uh, trouble with our uh, low position. Right now the band is set up so that when we bring it down we're going to have that negative pull on the bar and then we're going to have a resistance for the entire range of motion and the tension is actually going to increase at the top. So there's another great training aid to help you out with your, with your lift. Next training device is what we call a wobble aid. The, bar, the uh, kettlebell is set up on the bar using another band and when you bring it down it wobbles from side to side. You're obviously going to have plates on the bar with uh, I would say 50% of your max and then have either a kettlebell or a plate added on to the end using a strap or a band in this case. What it is going to do is increase your stability strength which will overall improve your maximum power. Alright guys, so my last two uh, bits of advice that I have for improving your overall bench are different grip selections. You have a narrow grip which is going to isolate uh, some of the chest but predominantly your tricep. So the narrow grip is used as a tricep work. Okay, it still recruits the chest for stability and lift off. However, the prime muscles that are moved are going to be your triceps. You're going to use a lighter weight for this, and you're just going to uh, perform a higher number of reps, maybe three sets of ten. Okay. Secondly, another grip that we can use is a wider grip. The wider grip is going to recruit the biceps. However, that the wider grip isolates the chest more. Okay, so the wider grip will uh, isolate the chest, develop that strict bench uh, specific power in your lift. So I'll just demonstrate the two. We have the new, uh, narrow grip as well as the wider grip. First of all, I have the narrow grip. All I'm going to do is put it just inside a shoulder width. Alright, remember work with a spotter because when you have the higher heights it's going, to it's going to be a little bit more challenging to control. So I have a narrow grip, bring it down to the chest and straight up. Down to the chest, straight up and down again. Alright, now I'm going to focus on a wider grip. I like to have almost a snatch grip for my wide grip. Bring it up and then I really feel a stretch on my chest and it's going to help to develop that specific strength that I need.
wider grip. All right. And down. All right. And this would be a, ne a neutral grip or a normal grip for myself. About two inches inside of the wide grip selection. All right, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully, this it will provide some insight onto accessories and aids that will help improve your bench press. Now remember, you always want to work full range of motion, and these aids are just crutches. They're band-aids. They're going to help you out, but they're only a temporary solution. When you go to a uh, powerlifting meet, or if in your everyday life you're working the bench press, you always want to have full range of motion. The muscles are designed to work in a full range of motion, so you don't want to always limit them so that they could develop the power and strength needed for functional everyday living. Remember to always use a spotter and also remember to live safely, controlled, and to always check in to neogoldsport.com. Thank you.